As the archivist for the city, it's my job to document San Francisco. It's really great working in a special collection in a public library because I feel like people come here who would never go to a special collection. They would never go to a university. They would never go to some special building somewhere. But they come in here every day and they get sent upstairs. And for all of us, I think it's really great. People walk in the door and say, I didn't know this was here. I love the History Center. I mean, th this is where I did some of my uh, you know, most fascinating archival research. It was a true treasure, and I hadn't really realized how much of a treasure it was until I started pouring uh, through its documents and its files. Knowing that that resource is here, and that it's in a place um, that they really, they really take care of. I mean, not only is it a place of full of great information that's very accessible, but it's also just in, in a comfortable place. I mean, it's a, it's a place that's quiet and physically comfortable where you can spend five hours just going through old newspapers, trying to discover or maybe rediscover a lot of the city's history in a way that, I don't know, it just, it just it feels more intimate than opening up your laptop at home and getting on Google and searching for particular facts. The, the history of the city doesn't feel alive that way. If you want to read the original diaries that these people were keeping and the original documents, the History Center is often the place to start. And then again, there's that kind of thrill of, oh, this is really the newspaper that was put out in the hate in 1967. This is the real thing right here, rather than seeing a picture of it online. I mean, online is great. I'm all for digitizing. But having said that, there's something about coming in and handling the real thing. I mean, there's just oohs and odds, you know? It's just, there's just something about the tangible thing. I read great, beautiful, moving letters right here at the History Center. It just made, I found myself almost crying one day as I sat here. People think of libraries as these dry and dusty places, but the past, you know, comes so colorfully to life when you actually read the words that these people were writing at the time and to telling their life stories. For me, as, as, a, as a fiction writer, um, any, any sense of history um, or historical fact needs to be more palpable, emotionally, dramatically, psychologically. Um, and that was the experience I remember having when I was here at the library, just being in this quiet place where it just treated the city's history as this, as this living thing. We have the records of a lot of community groups, the, the SPCA. We have their records going back to the 1870s. When I went over there to visit for the first time, and they started pulling out these ledgers for me, and people were writing about reporting horses being whipped in Golden Gate Park. You know, that was incredible for me to see that. So you don't know, you don't know till you get there. There was the Symbionese Liberation Army and the kidnapping of Patty Hearst. There was People's Temple and Jim Jones. There was the assassinations of Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Millick. And finally, the AIDS epidemic. So I can't think of another city that underwent as many wounds to the city's psyche uh, and its heart and soul as San Francisco endured. I think it's really important to show that cities go through ups and downs and tragedies. And I just think it's important that people are informed about what happened in the past.